Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving Weber's Joy? Would you like some tips, tricks, and information to make your experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, and we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Kevin here in the northern end of Bonaire. We're at Weber's Joy, or Witch's Hut, as it used to be called several years ago. They now call it Weber's Joy. I'm still gonna call it Witch's Hut. It'll always be Witch's Hut to me. But this is a wonderful dive site here in the north. It's a marked dive site. It's the second marked dive site on the north road. And we're gonna tell you all about it. But first, if you're new to our channel, my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We've got a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos about the different dive sites here on Bonaire. In these videos, we cover the site for you. We're gonna tell you the best place to enter, the best place to exit the water. We'll give you a general overview of the landscape of the area. We'll give you some navigational tips as well as a lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community. So how about subscribing to our channel? And make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be made aware whenever we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now, it's all about Weber's Joy or Witch's Hut, as I like to call it. So why should you come dive Witch's Hut? Well, it's a phenomenal dive site here on the Northern Road. You really start to get a taste of how the Northern sites differ from the Southern sites. It's really neat how it's somewhat Dr. Seuss and Tim Burton-like with the larger hard coral formations, a lot of boulder coral and star coral formations really makes for interesting uh, photography. The reef slope is much steeper here. It's not as slow a grade down to the sand. Uh, the top of the ridge wall, especially here at Weber's Joy, is really nice. It's really forest-like, some really tall gorgonians. So I really think you're gonna like those. This beautiful site, the shallows here are phenomenal. Beautiful white sand. You're really going to enjoy it. You'll get your typical marine life here. Uh, lots of parrotfish. Typically, you can usually see some midnight parrots as well, which are so fun to find. A lot of good juveniles, especially in the shallows. So with that white sand, uh, the foresty backdrop around some star coral in the shallows makes for great photography for those juveniles, so bring your macro lens. Other than that, this is a great place to spot sporta, spotted eels. So look for those, make sure you have your light so you can look into the, all the nooks and crannies. But right now, let's take a, take a view of the general site here. Okay, let's take a look at the above ground here at Weber's Joy or Witch's Hut. Plenty of places to park. You see the Witch's Hut there in the background. There's Liz getting ready. Nice parking pad to the right. And there's also parking down on the other side to the left of the hut. If you get here for some reason and there are tons and tons of divers and you just feel compelled to dive with them, there's also additional parking. Sun's in our eyes there. Back further south. Real quick note though, on the witch's hut, the witch's hut is not a bathroom. So if you would, please uh, don't use it as one. Uh, I know it looks like it's a great place to probably do that. It's just two large rooms, but tour groups do stop here and tour guides will take their groups inside to speak with them. Uh, on cruise ship days, the local artisans will set up their craft stands. Some local ladies will stay inside um, to sell things and they really don't want to have to smell your business. So. Please don't pee in the witch's hut. Let's take a look at the shoreline and the entry. Uh, you have to cross the street and as small as it is, this is a two-way road. Uh, you're gonna have traffic from both ways and there's somewhat of a blind curve. So like your mother always told you, look both ways before crossing this street. But accessing the site's easy. Nice set of stairs and concrete pathway down to the shoreline. We'll walk down here real quick. And then Liz, of course, will demonstrate how to get into the water. Now I've got to tell you, this looks like an extremely simple entry, doesn't it? We're gonna enter right here, or Liz will in a minute. But these rocks shift under your feet. They shift a lot. It's one of those hear me now but leave me later 
I've fallen here more times than I care to admit. Use those walking sticks we talk about in our things to bring to Bonaire video. I will link that in the comments section. It's, it's gotten so bad for me that I had Liz put in her notes in her logbook. There's a note that says, Kevin says to use walking sticks even when he says he doesn't need them. So please make sure you use your walking sticks on this site because these rocks shift under your feet. You'll want to walk at an angle down towards the shore and then you can walk in. Once you're in, there's still some more ankle twisting holes and rocks, so keep that in mind. But pretty easy dive to dive. Here's a good navigational tip for you for this dive site. If you're diving south, especially, so if you just kick straight out to the reef from our entry point here and descend down, as you dive south in the 30 to 45 foot range, you're gonna come across two to three concrete pipes in your travels. So as you head back, make note of those. And when you see those, it's time to turn back in towards the shallows and come back to your entry point here. If you happen to dive north on this site, as you're coming back, if you hit those concrete pipes, you've gone too far. So turn around and come on back. Okay, Liz is going to demonstrate how to get in here at Weber's Joy or Witch's Hut, as a lot of us still call it. She's going to use that walking stick, of course, as I mentioned, and walk that at an angle. These rocks do shift under your feet, just like that. I'm telling you folks, it looks super simple, but once again, I've fallen here more times than I care to admit. So just take your time, use that walking stick, pick your steps. Liz is going to continue in. She can see a little bit better than I can, but probably going to go out this way to see the coral head to the right. You angle out that way, then you'll angle a little bit and head out into the waist high water where you can put your fins on. But once again, there, are, there is uneven shore here. Uh, you do have some coral heads or rocks more likely that you need to contend with. As you can tell, it's hard to see where you're walking with the waves like this. Uh, it really gets churned up here. So just take your time, use that walking stick getting out just like you did coming back in. And then you've got the same shifting rocks to contend with as you come back up. A little bit easier, but they do tend to shift more when you're walking, pressing on those to step up. So just go at an angle like Liz is doing and everything will go well. well folks, that's just about gonna do it for Weber's Joy or Witch's Hut. Uh, I'm ready to die, but hey, was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like to give us a thumbs up too, we'd really appreciate that. What did you find most helpful about this video? Are there other things you'd like to know about this dive site or other dive sites for our future videos? Let us know in the comments. But right now, Liz is ready to get in, so I'm gonna gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next dive site.